this this right here that's my type that's my type i like him <gasps> And I just got a call that immediately just stopped, but I know exactly what's just happened. Saffron has died. Hello, my little peaches, and welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. And today is gonna be a big episode because in the last episode, little Ash here actually aged up into a young adult. And as you guys know, I like to yeet the young adults out the household, out on their own to try and discover their own lives. However, it's kind of very bittersweet because we know Saffron is also in her final days but we're gonna have to move ash out because i still have a bunch of stuff to do as part of the generation for gray challenges i still need to master singing i need to master parenting which means you know i need to get some kids somehow i also need to master the athletic career and complete the bodybuilder aspiration three failed relationships we are on two before finding a spouse marrying a neat sim we're good friends with all of our children it doesn't actually say how many children she's gonna have but we shall see and then start this family movie night with spouse and children every Sunday. But I can't really do any of those things until Ash moves out on her own, meets and has another failed relationship, meets and meets him, marries them. We have kids. Like, I've got a lot of stuff to do and I'm getting to the point of the challenge where I'm like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do anything. It's stress. It's a nightmare. I've got to get my skates on. Why does the game not have roller skates in it? That's just made me think. That would be really cool. Sims, please add roller skates. I need to get my roller skates on and get things cracking on with Ash's challenge. So if you guys are excited, please go ahead and give this video a big cheeky thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the Not So Berry Challenge, I'm sure you're already subscribed, but make sure you hit that notification bell so you know as soon as an episode goes live. So, oh man, this is hard. I just... I'm gonna really miss playing a Saffron. I feel like I've played with Saffron for so long now that it's gonna be so bizarre playing without her, but I'm gonna go ahead and move Ash out on her own. We're gonna bring Pluto with us, our pet raccoon cat. And I feel like Saffron would also be like, look, I really want you to get started on your own. I've been saving. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give you 20K, which should be enough money to get you a rental on a good flat. So I'll go ahead and transfer that over. However, because I know Saffron's in her final days, we're gonna bring her with us for the first day at least so that she can get Ash all moved in. I think it's a pretty big deal when your child moves out so um, I think Saffron would want to be there for it. So we've got Ash and Pluto out in their own family now. I'm gonna go ahead and move them in. I feel like she wants a taste of the big city. However, I also feel like she's gonna realize as soon as she starts having kids that maybe she wants to go to a bit more of a family vibes neighborhood. I was thinking the most family vibes were in my head. Brindleton Bay has strong family energy. Also, Wind Brindenburg in my head has a lot of family energy. I guess Willow Creek as well. But I'm kind of feeling like Brindleton Bay makes sense for Ash. Like, it's just got a very cozy feel about it. And I think it would be pretty cute. So let me know what you guys think of that idea. But we are a long way off that yet. I want to move her as well. I might have to kick people out, honestly. Yeah, we're gonna have to kick people out. It's fine. We can eat them. But I feel like this neighborhood here has the basketball court. Which, for me, kind of makes sense. Because we know that Ash likes playing basketball. So I feel like this would be a cool place to move her. So there's this historical slash spooky lot. There's a chef's kitchen. There's a needs TLC. There is the one that um, Salma and James potentially had at the beginning. The gremlins one where everything breaks. And then over here, we've got a romantic aura one and good school slash on a ley line. Okay. I feel like this one, this one to me is making a lot of sense because the whole good schools and ley line, if we do have kids, kind of makes sense for this one. So I'm sorry guys, but you are getting your little butts evicted. <laughs> and we will go ahead and move Ash in to the 2B Jasmine Suites. The weekly rent is 500 simoleons. Deposits a thousand. Furnishings that exist currently are 6,500. I'm probably just going to keep the ones we've got and we'll start adding our own stuff over time. A charmly family home overlooking the Spice Market's famous Festival Square. So that sounds pretty good. And these ones also very helpful. So let's go ahead and move her in there. We'll still have 12,000 pounds to play with so we can do a little bit decoration maybe make a little gym and stuff like that and let's go ahead and play as ash out on her own with her pet raccoon which is definitely actually a cat don't worry guys and ash is definitely definitely 100 human don't worry guys okay there's our landlord don't forget to pay her rent on time you've actually moved in in your alien gear okay let's get her butt immediately and oh jeez that is a lot of primary colors on the wall there bright pink sofa all in all it's just not really our vibe um okay i need you to find yourself a job so first things first i'm gonna get her on the athletic career so 
So we want to be athletic career. Goes to professional athlete or bodybuilder. It just says master the athletic career. It doesn't suggest which one we have to go into. Bodybuilder is the aspiration, not the job. So we could go for either for these two. For now though, we are a water person. So we're starting right at the bottom. We're no longer a babysitter. And we don't start work for four days because it's a weekend. So that's worked out pretty good. I'm just going to get her to sleep for now. Oh, apparently we'll just stand and stare at the table for 12 hours instead. Love it when Sims does that. Oh, is it a bit snowy in the city? It is. Oh, there's actually snow here. We get light snow or snowstorms occasionally back in our other neighborhood, which was uh, obviously like deserty, but never like full on snow like this. So this is pretty exciting for her. And here is the basketball court here as well. Half court. This is why I decided to move to this particular plot. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love him or her. I don't know who this is. Emily Vainupo. Oh my gosh, actually, we love raccoons already. We moved to the city and there's a full-size raccoon. It's a sign. It's a sign that this was the right move. Pluto is going to be royally freaked out if uh, he sees that. I get you put back into bed because I want you to be all nice and ready for tomorrow. We're going to invite over Saffron. She's going to help us get moved in because I moved 200 miles away from my family's home to a city once about, wow, literally a decade ago. ago. Scary. And having your parents move you in, it's a nice heartwarming experience. So I do want Ash to experience that. I want Saffron to come over, help her decorate, help her get moved in, help her turn a house into a home. And they can also experience a day in the city together. And I just love Saffron. So I'm not ready to give up on Saffron yet. We definitely want to see a bunch of her, even if she may never get to meet her own grandkids. And we've woken up flirty, thinking about our first kiss. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and invite Saffron to hang out at the lot with us today. We don't have a shower. We're gonna have to take a bath. Okay, we definitely need to do some redecoration. But like I said, I want Saffron to come over for that. And why don't you also go ahead and make your mum some breakfast? Oh, geez. Please don't set fire to your brand new apartment. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Little Saffron has come out. All the Saffron. All the Saffron here. Looking really sad, actually, that her child has moved out. Be like, oh, I guess I'm all on my own, but this is what I want for you. Don't worry. And we have 12k to play with. So while those guys are eating, I'm going to pretend that Saffron's like, I brought a bunch of gym kit for you. Or like, we'll help you get all your gym stuff moved in because I do want her to pay for it. So I'll delete everything currently in this room. That desk might be useful. I might keep the desk. We'll put that here. And um, let's make ourselves a little bit of a uh, gym. So, ooh, selfish ethos treadmill. Okay. <laughs> She's always quite enjoyed a punch bag. So I want to try and... Oh, I don't know if I can fit one in, but I will try. Yeah, everything's kind of a squeeze. This room isn't huge, but we shall see if we're actually able to use anything. Also, I want music in there. Music is definitely a vibe. Oh, and look, this looks like where she used to live. So I'm gonna put this little painting up. I've put some shelves in there like already for all the future athletic awards that I'm sure she's gonna win. Okay, so she's got a cool vibey place to work out. The bedroom is pretty sad and I actually kind of low-key hate it when you- Oh wait, she needs a sleepy pod. She needs a pod. I totally forgot. I was gonna say I hate it when you sleep all night and like don't actually get, it takes you so long in The Sims to get your energy up. But then I forgot she's meant to be having a sleepy pod, which I currently can't afford. Okay. I can't like take the other one with me, which is super annoying. So, uh, oh, wow, I shouldn't have spent all my money on here, should I? Why are you so expensive, sleepy pod? Wait a minute. This one's cheaper. What's the difference? 8455. 855. Oh my gosh. There is literally no point buying the more expensive. We are an alien, so we need an alien sleepy pod. It's just important, okay? And then I'm also... I have to replace this kitchen. I'm sorry. It's just... It offends my eyes. Okay, so we're getting there. Things are starting to look less... I'm just not fond of strong colors. I struggle with strong colors like this. Plus, this is Grayson, so I feel like she will be just as scared of colors as I am. I know I say this as I'm wearing a bright yellow in a four, but trust me, I'm scared of colors, okay? I decided to go wild on the lighting because, you know, why not? And I'm, try I'm trying to imagine how Ash, like, decorates. Honestly, once you start going gray, you start of kind of start going very, like, chic-esque, I think, because gray just has that energy. So maybe this is the kind of way that we end up decorating with Ash. Kind of homey, but also quite, like, chic-esque. I am just totally making up that word, yeah. And I've kind of spent up. 
Okay, I was like, oh, I'll keep some money on her. It's, it'll be handy. I'm just gonna have to recolor everything else for now. We may replace it in time. But yeah, I tend to always spend a lot in one room and that room tends to be the kitchen. Okay, $78. So, oh, she's happy. She is at least happy with everything. You guys can go back to eating your foodies now. Sorry about that. <laughs> and ooh, neighbors. I think our na Okay, our neighbors are outside. We've got Jewel, who's older than us, and Ricky, who's a straight up elder. Okay. Okay, yeah, you guys suck. Boring, bye. Oh, and I didn't get anything for Pluto. So Pluto's eating up straight away. They're like, Pluto, don't eat the pancakes. I'm sorry, Pluto. We will get you some stuff in the long run. Don't worry, my love. I might have to buy you a litter tray or else you're probably going to poop on the floor, aren't you? So I can't get this cool zippity zappity one, but I can get a scoop free one. And also a little food bowl too, so... Okay, let's put this right over here so I don't have to look at it very much. And we're bored. She doesn't like the small talk. She's like, we're in the city. Let's let, let's get out and do stuff. Let's go out and experience the city. Unfortunately, everything's... Oh, no. No, no, no. We can go hang out. We can go hang out. Oh, we can buy, like, fresh produce in the city. Or we can get curry in the city as well. We've just eaten Saj because I would have totally done that instead. But why don't we go experience a little bit of city life, okay? And I'm going to also get Ash to go toss a coin. Toss a coin to your witcher. No, she's going to toss a coin to Sim Gods being like, please. Please help me find love in the city. I want to meet someone. Like, my heart is aching for a new relationship. We went on two dates with Catherine. We did go on two dates with Catherine. She might ring us again. Ashley, no. Pamela, she's still a teen. So, yeah, let's see what, what else is on the horizon. But we'll just build some, some snowmen's and just people watch. I feel like that's one of the best parts of living in a city, right? People watching, having a nosy around. We still got to spend 10 hours exercising. Um, we don't have our job until Monday. It's currently Saturday. So maybe we should, um, oh my gosh, this person's gonna freeze to death if they're not careful. Maybe we should just keep our eyes peeled for what's going on around town. And also maybe tonight we should go on a little night out. I might see if Lindsay wants to hang out. Maybe Lindsay should be flatmate. I don't know. We could always invite Lindsay to be roommates with us, help us out with our uh, bills a little bit. But we know that she's got this child of the ocean tray. So I don't know how down she would be for leaving the ocean. There's definitely no ocean here. <gasps> and we can scope. So I will scope scope the surroundings, see if anyone catches our eye. There's Saffron's old enemy, Alyssa, over here. They aren't even trying to talk to each other. She's like, you beat me up once, shame on me if I become your friend again. I'm not gonna allow you to beat me up twice. So that's Saffron's approach to the sitch. Express being courageous to Saffron, being like, I feel like it's really brave of me to like, move out to the city on my own. What do you think? <gasps> and oh my gosh, look! You guys kinda did sort of Michi Machi snowmen's. Apart from yours was taller and yours is like, older and a bit more hunched. You know, you lose a bit of height when you get old. So Saffron's is a little bit smaller. And she hasn't noticed anybody interesting. Ash, honestly, you never seem to be attracted to anyone. Like, you find everyone sort of basic, which is such. It's definitely gonna make it hard for me to find some uh, future romantic options. Future woo-woo potential, but I am looking at everyone around. There's a lot of young folks, so that's good. Oh, that's a restaurant. And what are you? You're a karaoke bar. I might see if Lindsay fancies coming to the karaoke bar with me tonight. Oh, and look, their relationship is mommy dearest. The best relationship for little discipline. And they're friends now. They are good friends. They might not have been like the closest growing up. And Saffron might not have been the mom that Ash hopes that she's going to be one day. But they are still close. They still have a good relationship. And we're making some little, little snow angels together. I feel like Saffron would be like, angels, of course, don't exist. I've been to space. There's no angels there. There were, however, aliens. But we'll discuss that another time. And there they are, making themselves some little snow angels. I also feel like Saffron's old, and I'm like, just be careful, the cold is more dangerous for old folks than it is for young. Also, as fun as it's been hanging out with your mom, I do want to go to karaoke bar tonight with my friendo, so thanks for the hanging out, but I'm gonna go have a quick nap. Then it's time to invite over Lindsay. Oh, and she just met someone, Vernon. How did you just meet Vernon? Dog lover, goofball, and loner. Who, who is Vernon? Is this Vernon? I don't know why you just introduce yourself to this person. But okay, are they a city native? Basic looking. Everyone's basic looking to you. Maybe we can invite Vernon with us on our night out since you've just gone ahead and randomly introduced yourself to a stranger in the city. But they are a young adult, you know? And okay, we've had some nippy nappy news. We're feeling fresh. We have to go get ourselves a bath, which I don't love. Let's get a bubble bath so that we feel all playful for tonight. And then after your little bubble bath, let's go to the karaoke. I wonder if Lindsay's still dating. What's his face? Who lived opposite us the whole time? Trace, maybe we should invite him. Should I invite new boy Vernon? 
let's invite a few. Let's have ourselves a little party. Oh, this is good because it's going to improve our singing skill. Okay, we're totally going to be regulars here. And um, Trace is on the verge of death. Great. Let's just check out this Vernon fella on Cuss. He has two kids. I've just realized he's got two kids already. Are you married? Are you married? Have I just invited a married man on a night out with me? That would have been very unintentional. Oh, no, you're not. You're not married. You do, however, have, have very questionable fashion sense. Okay, you're not terrible. I feel like we can fix this. And if you're wondering why I'm trying, like, to keep my eye on everyone that could have potential, it's because I need to get babies ASAP, and I kind of, there's a bit of me that wants to still try and get it while Saffron is alive. Also, turns out Vernon really did have potential. We were totally right. Vernon definitely had potential. His eyes were like literally the other side of his head so i pulled those in and i lifted his brows up a little bit but like his nose and stuff i've kept the same as it was before and like your boy done good your boy definitely done good also he naturally has the bodybuilder aspiration and honestly the fact that he's a goofball dog lover loner i kind of like him i'm kind of like i feel like he's very sweet i'm just saying there's definite potential here and i was like oh i'll order us some drinks oh i can't i can't order fr frizzy fruity drink but that's literally it and then let's go grab ourselves a booth. Grab a drink, grab a booth, and let's get singing. This is very adorable. This, this right here. That's my type. That's my type. I like him. I can't believe he randomly introduced himself to us in the middle of the city on our first day here. I like the idea that he just like, ooh, Julian. Everyone's after me. What am I like? I'm just so irresistible. Clumsy, green fiend music lover. You're also adorable, Julian. I like the idea that he just saw her and like he walked over and introduced himself and gave her his number. And then they've gone out this evening because like people in the city, it's hard. They know it's hard to meet people nowadays. So they're just more confident. Introducing it's that son of my shoe no attitude, okay? Oh my gosh. It's so hard. And look, this idiot's come in here now. It's so hard trying to get like your Sims to be in a karaoke booth and it just be your Sims. Okay. Okay, it's just us, so why can't I lock the door? Why can't I lock the door? For some reason, I can't lock the door, but I want it just to be like just us that hangs out in here. However, it's really hard to do that. Like, why do you guys keep going in there? This is our booth. Okay, whatever. We're gonna try and sing ourselves a little duo. I am angry drunk. Okay, I need another drink. I wanna re-roll, try and get something that's not angry. But we're gonna sing a little song. Okay, I still got work to do. Still got a lot of work to do. Oh, jeez, we need to work on the singing skill. Does this help with singing? Okay, he's worse. Oh, well, he's a lot worse. Oh my gosh, he's me. This is a Clara and Ali duo. This is Kali A duo. But who cares? They're having lanigans. It's more fun singing with somebody if neither of you can sing. That's what I think anyway. And all I can hear is people singing really horribly everywhere. But the nice thing is we're having a nice little chance to chat together. Lindsay's in here as well. So I'm going to catch it with Linz. Lindsay's a young adult now too. Ooh, I should try and find out what her final trait is. Just because I'm interested. Not because of anything else. Jeez, no. Hates children. Oh my gosh, what? Lindsay hates children. Vernon's unemployed. Oh my gosh, you and Trace actually definitely low-key perfect. Vernon thinks we're fun to be around. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. That's so nice. Oh, and she liked my upgrades because now she finds them attractive and not just basic looking. Do you actually have two kids? You have two children. He's a little bit older than us. He's a little bit older than us. He has two children, maybe from a previous marriage, a previous relationship. We could try a little blended family thing. I don't know. If we had any babbleroos with him, they'd have some like half siblings. I'm getting ahead of myself. Like literally, we've just met the guy and I'm like planning a whole life with him. But I don't know. I like him. I like that they've got, actually got some things in common. Like they share common goals. Like they both know that fitness is going to be a really big part of their lives. But they have really different traits. And he's upfront and honest with the fact that he's like introduced himself to us. He's been really honest being like, I really like hanging out with you. Like her and Ashley had similar vibes but he was cold whereas vernon has similar vibes but is really warm and pamela was like you know very forward with her at first but then blue hot and cold whereas vernon again is just warm vibes i feel like she's learned something from each relationship and now she's going into what could be her first ever properly healthy relationship before you get ahead of yourselves we need three failures so as much as we love vernon this relationship could be destined to fail 
is destined to fail. It will fail, 100%. But that doesn't mean we can't have a nice relationship for a while. Like, honestly, I feel like we deserve that. I'm very shipping Vernon, okay? I'm very shipping Vernon. I'm on the Vernon ship and you guys can't get me off. I'm the captain of the ship. I'm like, woo woo. Because honestly, who doesn't love a goofball dog lover? He's so cute. And when I speed her up, she sounds better. I think she sounds better. We've ended our first Saturday night in the city with cute guy's number and almost level five of the singing skill. I call that a massive success. Okay, a massive success. Look at this. This is the best part. She finishes her singing. She's like on a freaking high right now. She's like feeling amazing about life, feeling energized. And to get home, she literally walks from here, which is the karaoke spot, to her apartment, which is literally there. Oh no, okay, wrong. Wrong apartment. It's not that apartment. It is not that apartment at all. Is it this one? Is this your apartment? Yeah, we do. Okay, our apartment right there. Right back into our apartment. It got there in the end. So let's climb back into our alien sleeping pod. Also, Pluto is sick. Sick of life, sick of the city. No, he's he's definitely not well because when I click on him, I get the option to bring to the vet clinic. So I think we're going to go for a little vet clinic visit tomorrow. And since Vernon loves dogs, a dog lover. Honestly, if someone said to me, I'm going to the vets tomorrow, there's going to be loads of animals. I'm a dog lover. I'd be like, see you there, friend. So I might see if new potential Boo Vernon wants to come help us take out Pet Cart to the vets. He's going to start realizing the weirdness that is quite a lot of Ash's life in her sleeping pod with her alien outfit and her pet raccoon. <laughs> Ash is a lot to take in. She is a lot to take in, but I love her. Go for a jog. Okay, why don't you start your day off then with a jog? And um, maybe going to the vets in Brindleton Bay. But yeah, while she's in Brindleton Bay, she could be like, huh, this neighborhood's so sweet. It feels like the kind of place you'd go to raise kids. Like, she keeps her eye on Brindleton Bay. It's all come together. The story's right in itself. Things we love to see. This is her new workout outfit, by the way. I think it's super cute. I want that sports bra. Those tracky bottoms look super comfy. This is just a whole vibe. And, you know, just because we're out here having ourselves a little run, I will open my peepers and just see if anybody else is catching her eye. Because, you know, Vernon caught mine, but he didn't initially catch hers, but she did catch his. But yeah, running around the city, having a jog, like meeting people, grabbing a morning coffee, all of these things, strong young person city life energy. Okay, she hasn't noticed anybody else she finds interesting. So I really wanted to pick up two coffees and bring one to Vernon at the vets. I thought that would be a whole vibe. However, we can't can't afford one, so we're not gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna sell some stuff in our inventory just for enough money to be able to make rent this week, including like our school projects that we never did. Oh, <gasps> climbing gear. Vernon's also got the fitness aspiration. Maybe we can climb a mountain. Like literally they've just met, they've sent one duet and I've planned out how we're gonna blend their families of kids and also climb a mountain together. Like, Claire, calm down, slow down, okay? Slow down. You're coming across a bit crazy right now. A little bit intense, but I don't know. This is fun to do. It's Sims, I'm allowed, okay? So Vernon and also my pet raccoon. Let's go for a little trip to the vets together. So we're at the Brindleton Postable. <laughs> And let's go ahead and sign Pluto in. I will buy some wellness treats to avoid this happening again, but we want to do the whole, let's go to the beds together. You can come into the room with me. This is, oh my gosh, this is my pet cat, Pluto. Saffron's calling to chat. <gasps> Saffron misses us. And here we are on our little vet date together. There is a, a puddle of weed quite near us. Okay, it's just been cleaned up, but it's fine. We can still get to know each other a little bit more. <gasps> she wants to make a flirtatious joke. I can oblige. I can oblige. Because she's in a playful mood from her bubble bath. Okay, he's not very into music. Which I guess is why he only, he can't sing very well because he's just not that into music. And we've learned that he's single. Okay, that's good. I'm going to ask his personality type as well. And he is an ISFJ type. What are we? INTJ. Okay, we're similar. We've got some similar energy, but we're not exactly the same. Okay, let's head in here because Bluto's getting uh, checked. Bluto, also known as Pluto. And oh. Oh, I can only do basic treatment. I'm sorry, Pluto. Oh, you made my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Well, that's really freaking cute. So we've got happy memory sentiments with him. Pluto's all cured now. So that is a whole vibe. It's snowing. It's all very adorable. Why don't we go have a little sit here next to this dog statue? Because I know you like dogs. So here is a whole dog statue. And it's not going to snow on our heads. So we'll be a little bit warmer. And oh my gosh, Catherine. Hi, it's me. Do you want to go out on a date? kind of on one, Catherine. I'm kind of on one right now. I feel like Catherine is like an enigma. She asks me on dates, but I never see her in person. Like she never comes around to the house. Like, 
Who are you, Catherine? But don't worry, I've not ruled her out. I've not ruled her out. Ooh, and I like this. He's been up front and told us he's a parent like the second time we've met him. Third time technically, actually. Oh my gosh. I told you I'm already on a date, Catherine. Catherine is really into us. Okay, these guys have become good friends as well. Wait, don't head off yet. I thought you could come see my apartment. My apartment's real basic. I only just moved in, but I'm assuming you, you live in San Marcino as well. <gasps> She's only gone and turned up. Oh my gosh, what? Ash, I can't get you out of my mind. Can we spend some time together right now? This is very intense behavior, babes. This is, this is intense. You invited me on a date twice. I told you I was busy. And then you've just gone and showed up on my date. Also, apparently I don't know you that well because I can introduce myself to you, which is good because I can learn traits if I do this. So I'm just gonna run over and be like, hi, inappropriate. Bye. I was there giving you the benefit of the doubt, like being maybe, maybe cute future potential, but this is, this is just a lot, you know? This is a lot. Proper kleptomaniac art lover. I swore off kleptomaniacs, okay? I swore off them for good. And you're not neat, so... Intense, Catherine. Very intense. Me and the squad are heading back to San Maishuno. Goodbye. Okay, so we cooked him Italian meatballs. Oh my gosh. What are you do- Pluto, stop it! Pluto, no! Stop embarrassing me! I'm meant to be having nice Italian meatballs and then maybe doing a bit of workout in our gym and room. We've done some tentative flirts, but we have a no romance yet. So because we're feeling confident, I'm going to try a bold pickup line. Also, the food was actually good quality for one, so well done, Ash. And we're going to ask him, what's his attraction? What's his romantic preferences, you know? What is it you're into? Ooh, he liked the bold pickup line. I like hipster-looking outfits. <laughs> He's into like hipster vibes. Interesting, interesting. And he's gone into the bathroom to practice flirting. Also very interesting. <gasps> and I just got a call that immediately just stopped. But I know exactly what's just happened. I knew it. Saffron has died. Oh, guys, Saffron has just died. The same day we I move her out, well, the same weekend that I move her out, Saffron helps her move in. And she's like, my offspring is gone. My role in this challenge is complete. And then she just goes ahead and passes on. That is the end of Saffron, guys. I mean, it's nice because I can reminisce about the departed and stuff. So it's nice that I've got someone with me. I'm going to ask him if he can hang out for a bit because she's feeling low. She's feeling sad that Saffron's gone and she just wants to talk to somebody about Saffron. So even though he's gone and practiced flirting in the mirror and it's made him flirty, I'm going to divert this away from romance and instead use it as an opportunity to chit chat about someone really important to her. You know, they may have been quite different, but oh, little Saffron, all the way from the White House as a child growing up there, then moving to Japan, and then moving out, moving to, being in space at one point. Saffron definitely did a lot, like a lot, a lot, but guys, that is the end. That is the end of our little Saffronkins, and little Ashikins has moved out, although we've not yet entered the romantic phase of our relationship. We've found a very interesting potential for failed relationship number three, although I might keep this one around for a little bit longer, and maybe we fail a little bit further down the line after we've been in a relationship for a while instead of it lasting for one episode. <laughs> maybe it lasts long enough to actually produce some children. Let me know what you guys think. We'll keep Vernon hanging out at the apartment for the next couple of hours so that Ash isn't on her own. Also isn't feeling low and alone after finding out such sad news. And yeah, let me know what you think about Ash's new apartment, the new love interest, and also let me know your favorite Saffron memories in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and give it some love. Give it a big cheeky like and I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye!